Okay, in this session, I'm actually going to show you an example of how to measure an effect size to see if an intervention is successful or not. Now, in this sample data, and I've already loaded my R commander because that takes a little bit of time and everything to do with it, uh, which is the interface that makes it a little bit easier. In this, um, in this data set, I have burglary or motor vehicles. In the first month, I have the number of incidences. Uh, the day of the month, the area, um, the number of incidences after the intervention, which is the post, and also the change, the number of change, if it went down or up. So in this instance, let's go ahead and load my data set. I'm going to call this BMV pre and post, okay? Okay, so this has uh, 30 rows and 6 columns. And that's, you know, 30 days in a month is an example. And let's see what this data looks like. Okay, so you'll see you have day of month, pre-intervention, post-intervention, change, and area number. Now let's go ahead and do some summary statistics. Just gives us a pretty overview of what the data looks like. Let's go ahead and do some basic statistics on the pre and post and change. Let's go ahead and do the correlations on it. Now, correlation does not mean causation. Please remember that. Okay, now let's go ahead and do some graphs. This is a QQ plot. Let's go ahead and do it on the free. You know, it fits within a, a line pretty, pretty nicely. A few little outliers, but nothing to be too concerned over. Let's go ahead and do the post. Same thing. That's nice. And here on the side, you can see the number of incidences. Let's go ahead and do the change one now. That one looks a little bit more skewed. Not exactly, but that's okay. That's all right. Go ahead and now do the uh, t-test on this between the pre and the post. Okay, this gives us the information we need for the effect size to measure the effect size, um, the effect size of the mean difference uh, between the pre and the post. Okay, now for uh, in order to get the effect size and exactly those numbers. Uh, we do need some code, and I do have it uh, here, just so I would remember it and have it ready. Okay, 
we'll go ahead and run that. Okay, and then this gives us the mean difference or the t test value to effect size. So this converts the t value to an effect size uh, of, a, of the mean difference, so the difference between the means. Now, this is very important because it, it gives you this, this number, this 86.99. Now, exactly what does 86.99 mean? It means that if I were to go ahead and randomly select something from the pre, okay, say before the intervention, there is an 86.99% chance it would be higher than if I took a randomly selected number from the post one, meaning that the intervention looks pretty significant. Here's the p-value on it. It's zero, okay? And also, you know, the these things do tell you what these values mean, which is very, very nice to see. Okay, so you can read all through that and you can see and hear the correlations. And in order to get another positive, you would need to add to your sample another 1.74. So another two, uh, two items to your sample. So this is very important in, um, in a simple form, as we all know there are various factors that come along with this, including area which I did include in this, but didn't in, include in this um, short presentation, um, that can also have a substantial effect on the intervention itself as well. So please take that in mind. This is a very simple example. It does not include all factors, and you must consider that. So as a last part, what I always like to do is I like to generate the, um, the markdown. So the markdown, what the markdown does is it puts it in HTML format so you can print it and have all of your code and replace your title, your name, everything you need. Um, if you need to cite it, if you need you know, backup, if you need anything, it includes all the charts, graphs, code, everything. So go ahead and do that. Now I'll allow the lock content and you can see right here, I mean, we have all of our information, everything that we did comes out on this, okay? So that's really nice to know. Now, just for one more thing, I wanna go ahead and I wanna do, I just want to look at the pre, how it looks, the density of it. You notice that? Okay. And let's see. For the post too. Okay, that still goes. And let's go ahead and see. And I'm not sure if we can do this or not, but you know, we'll try anyway. Go ahead and do the pre. Well, let's do it by groups. Let's do it by the areas. Okay, so, so area E40, area E50. This is the pre. As you can see, area 50 is a little bit higher. Okay, and this is a box plot of the means. 
Okay, and then let's go ahead and look at the post for this with that. As you can still see, it's still a little bit above. Now this one, you know, not exactly 70. This one is a little below 60, and I wonder what the pre one is again. Let's run that one again, just to see. Oops, wrong one. The pre is a uh, close to 80, and this one's a little bit above 80. So if you notice from the post, they came down. So that's a really good sign um, with the intervention as well. Okay, let's go ahead and do some plots and means and let's pick um let's pick the pre first. And let's do confidence intervals. Okay, so E40. So E50 has a little bit higher when it comes to the mean of incidences including including uh, burglary of motor vehicles. Okay? Now let's do the post. And still E50 still, even though it came down, it still has, and here are the confidence intervals too, so it still has a little bit higher. Now you can make all these different colors, you can make them interactive, you can make them 3D, you can make the grass, anything you want. Um, so that's pretty nice too. I'm not going to do that in this because uh, it does require some coding and, and other stuff too. So. There was one other one I wanted to do as a final one, but I'm not really sure how it's going to come out, so we'll see, huh? Let's do area and let's do change. So 95%, let's see, I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the change, E40, E50 with the confidence interval. So E50 had has a bigger confidence interval with the change itself, if you notice, and it's negative, you know, so that's, that's good. It went down, uh, burglary motor vehicles went down, That that's a good sign. Okay, hopefully you got to see all of this and, and we'll generate the markdown one more time. So now you have all of these and you get to see everything all in one. That's really nice, but the most important one is the effect of it. And that's obviously intervention have a positive effect on bringing down the burglary of motor vehicles. So this is just one example of analysis you can use to measure the effect.